It was so cold in Central Texas last week, it was like we were living in the Ice Age. So to get a real actual experience of that, I'm here at the Waco Mammoth National Monument to see some of the fossils and the creatures that existed during the last Ice Age. Let's go on this week's Be Lively. The exhibit is in East Waco. There's a repository at Baylor University that hosts awesome fossils like this saber-toothed tiger. And here's the deal. In 1978, these two were exploring the dry creek bed. They saw a bone sticking out. They got Baylor University involved, and that's when the research began. This opened up to the public in 2009, and then over the next five years, it was a total hit. Over 100,000 guests came. So in 2015, President Obama used the Antiquities Act and made it part of the National Park Service uh, units. And so that's why it's open to the public today. That's why it's still protected. This building is what makes this place so unique. They built an exhibit around the original fossil site. I was mortified I was going to drop my phone filming this for you because I thought I was going to break a very unique and rare fossil. Here's some of the tools that they use to dig out some of this stuff and there's a Colombian mammoth. It was massive and beautiful and just very cool to see. Lots of great signs all around the exhibit. This one explaining that scientists don't know exactly why these animals went extinct. And a fun little quiz, geologist, archaeologist, paleontologist, which one are you? I got to shout out my boy Ross Geller from Friends. I am a paleontologist through and through. And of course, it is just not an exhibit or a monument or a museum without a gift shop. If you want to see a modern Columbia Mammoth, just go look at an elephant. But if you want to see one that existed over 10,000 years ago, come to the Waco Mammoth National Monument. It's a total bargain and a really nice way to spend the afternoon. If you want to see anything else, always leave it in the comments and be lively.